Hi everyone, I'm Nakia Nolan, Livestock Officer for the North Coast Local Land Services. Today I'll be talking to you about farm planning and infrastructure. First off, I'd like to briefly talk about the LPA program, Livestock Production Assurance Program. Here you'll need a farm pick, so property identification code and a farm buy security plan. A farm buy security plan enables you to record and manage all of your inputs and outputs from your property. To create a farm buy security plan, you can search online LPA farm buy security plan and templates will come up which you can put in your own details to create your own plan. From there, you'll get one of these signs which you can put at the front gate of your property with your details where people must contact you before entering your farm. So come on in and let's talk a bit more about farm planning and infrastructure. So we've just came up the driveway of this property where you'll see the main yards. Here we have the loading facilities, the main yards and crush, and also the holding yards. On entry to our farm, you'll notice that our loading ramp is right at the end of our driveway. This enables all weather access, which is really important, especially in high rainfall zones like this one here. It's important to have vehicles and livestock trucks be able to come and go from your farm safely and efficiently under all weather conditions. With loading ramps, there are different varieties which you can plan on what best suits your needs. You can have ones that are adjustable with height to suit trailers and trucks. With yard design, you should also consider animal behaviour. Here we have black plastic which creates shadows and darkness where cattle are happy to move throughout the yards. We also include plenty of gentle curves which help cattle follow each other throughout the yards naturally as well. When planning your yards, it's also important to consider size to reflect the number of cattle you wish to be working with each day. It's also important to have good shade and fresh water, especially in your holding yards. We have recently purchased this farm, so not everything is up to scratch where we wish it to be. We do plan to have an undercover area where a full vet crush will be in place so that we can call out vets at any time and they'll be happy to come out and help. Holding yards are important as they're good for biosecurity, so for quarantine, and also for health and regular treatments. They're also important if you wish to have confinement feeding or to safely store your stock when there are bad conditions such as drought or flooding. As a part of farm planning, it's also important to have a good stable boundary fence. Boundary fences will also need continual maintenance to make sure they stay secure and intact and doing their job properly. Here, we've chosen a mesh fence as it's good for keeping smaller livestock such as calves, sheep and goats in or out of the boundary fence. We run steers while neighbours next door run cows and calves. I find this fence is really good for if we also choose to run cows and calves or heifers as this fence should be good for keeping those livestock in or out. If you're having trouble with bulls jumping fences, it's also important to consider having a single electric fence running along either one or both sides of the boundary fence. From here, we might go and have a look at some of the internal fencing choices we've made on this property. As we run mostly steers, the majority of our internal fencing is five-strand barbed wire. On some of our larger paddocks, like this one here, we have two-strand plain electric fencing. This enables us to increase the grazing intensity of our pastures so that we can manipulate how selective our cattle are when they're grazing. As we talk about farm planning, I'd like to quickly go through with you some of the ideas and planning techniques we've done on this property. We've broken down the larger paddocks so that every paddock is approximately five to seven hectares each. It is important to have good water sources that can supply efficient, good quality water to your livestock at adequate amounts where your livestock will not run dry. Here we have a solar pump which feeds to water troughs which are located in nearly every paddock of our farm. We do have one larger paddock, however, which is fed by a dam. It is important to check your livestock water source daily and make sure the water is clean and good quality. Moving on from yard design and fence planning, I would like to conclude by talking about good feeding infrastructure. So we're here standing in front of a hay ring, which is one form of infrastructure which is really good for feeding out hay or silage, especially for minimising feed wastage. If you plan to feed out grain 
or supplements, it's always good to have grain bins or troughs, which are undercover, protected from weather. The importance of keeping grains and licks, especially dry licks, undercover and protected from weather helps reduce spoilage and minimise health risks.